I can't do anything, but like I Hey y'all, just because I'm not on pain medication anymore, I'm still taking freaking muscle relaxers, so I'm still speaking hella slow and sounding hella slow. So just, you know, just bear with me again. All right, you guys, so I'm back from my post-op appointment, my first one, and everything looks so amazing. Oh, my lips are so chapped, especially after surgery. They, it, everything looks so amazing. The doctor is very happy with um the way everything looks it looks just the way it's supposed to um obviously i'm handling everything pretty well i told you guys i wasn't taking any more pain medica medications the percocets made me feel weird but um i am prescribed hydrocodone for my back so i needed to take something today because i guess my ass is on pain medication shit so boom, here we go um, my surgeon's office is 45 minutes away and i like the pain was just you know, of being uncomfortable. So I did take a hydrocodone and I'm not like feeling like I'm uh, having an out of body experience. <laughs> but um, I seen my pictures from, so I asked the nurses to take pictures of me right after surgery, like before I even woke up, cause the swelling, there's still a little bit of swelling in the pictures but it's not what it what it is now, right? Like, <clears throat> it looks completely different. When I saw those pictures, like, I don't know, I'm just very emotional today. It's the pain meds, y'all, it's the pain meds. No, I'm just kidding. I was super, super emotional, you guys. So I'm about to be acting like a little beer. Because like, just surgery makes you emotional, but those pictures, are so amazing <laughs> and I'm so happy with um, like the results and stuff like that your girl is snatched snatched all the way up so um, that definitely gave me you know it's gonna help me through I think like the recovery more of the recovery I got my stitches out I had stitches underneath here from the lipo so I got stitches out from here and my arms and um where else did i have stitches that's about it um my stomach is so flat um what else he said that i should expect to be extremely tired this week coming up like i'm gonna just want to sleep and just allow my body to sleep and um which is weird because i had been saying that i had been feeling very tired so um my body, I guess, just needs to sleep this week, so I'll be doing a lot of that. Just catching up on shows and all that kind of stuff, so, you know. But yeah, y'all, I'm your girl is so happy with these results. Like, I can see a huge difference now, and mind you, I'm super swollen, but those pictures, those pictures, it was everything I dreamed. <laughs> everything I dreamed. And so I'm super happy about it. So like, I'm just, you know, I'm just gonna be sleeping and stuff like that. So yeah, I have a lot of swelling, but no, I didn't get the drains taken out or anything. The ride there wasn't that bad. Certain bumps on the roads, I was like, ah, but all in all, it was fine, excuse this. I, I, I think, oh, that's from my chicken sandwich. I was like, is that a tear? No, I had a chicken sandwich from the Lord's um, fast food chain. Um, but yeah, everything is great. I don't want to show you guys the pictures that I have because, well, number one, um, you see a lot more that you don't need to see. And number two, I kind of want to wait to show you guys like the big reveal of what my stomach looks like and stuff like that. And I don't want to ruin it by showing a premature. So today is September 6th that I'm editing this video and I actually showed my stomach yesterday. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you're missing out. But just know that that picture was basically a two week post-op picture but go ahead and head over there and look at it picture that picture was kind of for me mentally to help me get through healing so yeah y'all hey y'all so it is one week post-op from my tummy tuck breast lift uh with implant exchange uh lipo of the chin the arms of course the stomach because it comes with it and then outer thigh it is one week post-op and hold on I am feeling better every single day. Um, no more pain meds. I think I already said that though. 
Anyways, so I am experiencing a lot of back pain. So that's why my back is hurt. Don't worry. Oh, it's, that's why my, oh, can you empty my drains, babe? Yeah, that's what I Okay. So Bryce is about to empty my drains right now. Um, I don't even know if I should. I'm not going to put that on YouTube. I shouldn't put that on YouTube, no. Every day is getting easier and easier um, with certain things like taking a shower is amazing. It's hard. It's exhausting though. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what I'm walking like. And I, you can see that I'm still like hunched a tad, but I'm no longer using my walker. I can't do anything, but like... I I'm just saying, like, your girl's getting it all the way together, bitch. So, you know, it... All right, you guys. So, I didn't really feel much yesterday. I had a horrible back pain yesterday. You guys know I'm going to give you guys the real about all of it. The back pain yesterday was so severe, and you can't mix ibuprofen from what my doctor, my instructions. You can't have ibuprofen and pain pills, but I will tell you something right now. If I didn't take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen like two hours before that, I definitely would have threw back one of my hydrocodones because uh, my back pain was severe. And you know why? First of all, if you guys don't already know this, like, my ass has a badass back. Like, it's been bad since the military. I'm retired because of it. I'm like, my back is jacked up. I've had surgery and everything. So anyways, having to sit like this and walk hunched is like not the business if you have a bad back. And from what I've been gathering, even people that don't have a bad back, they experience severe back pain as well around this time. So just think of that and then just think of already having a bad back <laughs> so you know the hydrocodones were not given to me by my plastic surgeon this is medication that i'm prescribed through a pain clinic but i mean i only take it as needed so you know it, it lasts me a good time <laughs> like a good minute but um i'm still swollen under here from what my doctor said at my post-op he said that lipo results tend to take like six weeks to actually see so this will go way in so, um, there's that, um, what else? I get nauseous every single day and it's just because this binder that I have to wear, but it's not like severe nausea. It's not like, oh my gosh, it's horrible. It's not like pregnancy nausea. It's just your stomach feels a little bit upset. So I've been drinking a Sprite. I usually drink one like little can of Sprite a day. And then I have the, um, on Destrin that goes underneath your tongue. That helps out a lot. Um, I'm no longer walking with a walker as of yesterday. So as of, what did I say? It was post-op day nine today. So as of post-op day eight, I no longer need my walker. And yesterday when I walked without my walker, I wasn't able to walk for a long period of time. So I would get up and I have, my house is like a, a pretty decent size. So me walking out to the kitchen is, um, is a strike. It's a whole strike. Okay. So, um, I would go out there, I'd probably last like five minutes and then I'd have to come back and sit down because it was just a lot. This morning, your girl got up, I was out there, went outside, <laughs> took, you know, a little seat outside on the furniture in the sun. So I was literally just chilling and walking around. I, I went in my son's room and I just like, what up Tim a little bit? Like, what's going on? What's good? And um, I was able to stay up way longer today everything's just so much easier today i'm gonna take a freaking shower today again because i haven't been showering every day because you really don't shower every day after this i think i will they say usually after week two you start to shower every day i'm showering every other day right now but i'm not really doing anything to like work up a sweat so but i'm no longer emotional i haven't cried since my what was it was, when was I crying y'all I look back at that I was whoa <laughs> I posted my first like surgery day and day after surgery uh, video on YouTube and um I was watching that shit and it was so funny y'all was so high and that I was like y'all the shit I was saying was just funny I'll put it in the cards up above but um yeah I'll put like a little thing in here about how I'm walking. Your girl's almost walking straight up. 
um, my hair is so greasy, I need to like wash it. You don't, even though I shower every other day, I'm not washing my hair every time I shower. I probably wash my hair um, like every four days. But it's definitely greasy and disgusting and ugh. But you know what? Your girl is still feeling bomb, even with her greasy hair, because your girl's body is on point. And so yeah, I actually feel confident enough right now to get up and go take a shower by myself. I feel that confidence. So let me go do that. All right, you guys, so I'm out of the shower. I just had a sandwich, okay? And um, I'm feeling a little festive since today is September 1st. So I went ahead and put in like a little orange scrunchie. Um, my shower was way easier this time. I was able to fully, like last time my hair was washed, my mom had to wash it. But this time your girl washed her own hair. I put It's a 10 in there. I cannot stress the importance of having It's a 10, especially for all the tangles, but I brushed all my hair out, put some moisturizer on, and um, I have obviously I have on some new clothes and right now um, at my post stop I guess I should be I need to be remembering these details for you guys at my post stop appointment my first post stop which is one week after um, they said I can wear workout pants as a form of compression so I have tons of workout pants because you know your girl goes to the gym and so I've been wearing those as you know to compress my legs from the lipo so um, they actually with the whole fall haul. So you guys, I did not use the fall haul at all and my surgeon would not put it on me. He said he did not like the front of it, how they had hooks. And um, so I returned that. And now because of my case, my surgeon ordered fall haws for everybody else for their surgeries after because we don't know what to get. You know what I'm saying? And um, I was never given uh, directions on what type of fall haul. They just said if you have something like a compression garment that you want, bring it in. But it's good to know that for you guys, for future, my surgeon did not like the ones that hooked. And I mean, everything worked out because I had like this binder and stuff like that. But he said they had tried it in the past and it, I forgot what he said, like why they stopped doing it and just allowed uh, uh, the women to pick their own. I guess I was just like the bad luck one that picked the wrong one. And I don't know, it was weird because I got like the most expensive one. Not that that matters, but I was like, this has to be good. And you know, the reviews are good and he, this should be good because yeah. But what I should have done is sent it to my surgeon's office to let the nurses look at it and say, okay, you should get this one. But I didn't, I was like, no, this should work. And I was wrong but yes so i'm smelling good you guys i have compression armbands that i got from amazon on here and um what else did i get from amazon i need to like put i have a video that i need to edit of my supply list and it's not a supply list that i was required to get these are items well i guess some of them were required like no no they weren't this is just stuff to make my life easier and I filmed it prior to surgery so when I edit that video I am going to talk in that video and I'll pause things and be like you guys don't need this I didn't use this at all and I'll make sure you guys know exactly what you guys need I really want to ensure that I'm sharing everything for you guys the good and the bad the when you know took me a minute to poop type of thing to oh you know, this day is better. I will say that day nine post-op is a game changer. This day has been by far the best day. It gets better every day, but I woke up this morning, I was ready to go. So it's like, of course I'm still resting, so don't get it twisted. I don't want you guys to think like I'm out and about and whatnot, no. Like my ass is still sitting down, but it's just a better day. So I, I would say day nine is a game changer. So if you guys are close to that number, and I know if you guys are on like four, it seems like it's gonna take forever. You guys got this, y'all are strong. Y our bodies are made to have these kids. If we can have a kid, girl, we can do anything, okay? But let me tell you something. I also wanna piggyback on what I just said because you don't wanna compare a C-section to getting a tummy tuck, okay? Don't compare that because it's completely different. My C-section was hella easy. I didn't even take pain medication for my C-section. I took like Tylenol 
it was a breeze, okay? And even though this surgery is, I'm not gonna say easy, easier than expected, okay? I still don't want you guys to go in there thinking it's gonna be all like bomb, because just because it's been bomb for me so far doesn't mean it's gonna be bomb for you and everything like that. But I just, I wanna give my honest thing. And to be honest, at day nine, I thought I was still gonna be like, oh my God. Like before I had the surgery, I thought that this recovery was going to be hell, you guys. I thought I was going to be crying every day. Not crying from being emotional about the surgery. Crying from pain. I thought I was going to cry. It has not been like that at all. And when I would see some of these YouTubers on here talking about the recovery and I would see them up the next day saying they're not taking pain medication I was like it's got to be a lie it's not a lie you guys like it's not And my pain tolerance I know it's hella high like I know my pain tolerance is like all the way up there but it, it's true some people do not experience pain like some other people do so just know that and you know it could just be my skilled ass surgeon could just be my skilled ass surgeon y'all some surgeries like I don't know if I said this earlier but some surgeries take, you know, surgeons like eight hours. I've seen my surgery. So my surgery, exactly everything that I've got. If you guys don't know, I had a tummy tuck with muscle repair because, you know, my son split it open. Okay, my whole stomach split open. Arm lipo, chin lipo. I had flank lipo, stomach lipo. That came with all that stuff. And outer thigh lipo. I also had a breast lift with an implant exchange. I went from saline to silicone, okay? So with my surgery... I've seen other surgeons on women of the similar size and frame of me. Ow. Oh, y'all. I'll tell you guys about that out in a minute. Um, it could be like an eight-hour surgery. My surgery took four hours. I don't know if – it sounds like it's a skill thing. My surgeon is bomb, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just tell y'all who my surgeon is now because, like, he needs to be recognized, Dr. Robbins, it's Chad Robbins, and he's in Nashville, Tennessee, okay? Let me tell you something. Ride, fly, take a train, take a bus, ooh, and get the surgery from Dr. Robbins, okay? I'm so glad I found him. If you guys haven't seen my video where I talk about how I chose my surgeon and all the research that went into it, go ahead and check that out. It's on my Mommy Makeover playlist. Because your girl, I could have went anywhere and got this done. I could have went to LA. I could have went to like whatever. Bryce was down for the get down, wherever, okay? I chose him for a reason, so go and check that out, okay? But anyways, about this ouch that I'm feeling. My C-set, not C-section scar. My, t I don't have one of those no more. My tummy tuck scar today feels like it's ripping, but it's not. It just feels like that. So certain movements that I make, I'm like, bish. But yeah, girl, I've been rambling for almost eight minutes. Okay, I'm getting off of here, but bye, y'all. If y'all have questions, drop them down below. Turn it up, turn it up, we got this.